Manitoba. Nuiriel, the father of Manitoba, is a well-known person in our province's history. However, many Manitobans may be unaware of certain interesting facts about Luiriel's life as well as his death. One of the most interesting artifacts we have here at the museum, and one that certainly sparks a lot of questions from our visitors, is Luiriel's first coffin behind me. It is the first one of three coffins that he will rest in after his death. In 1885, at the age of 41, Luiriel was hanged in Regina. He was then transported by train back to Winnipeg, accompanied by certain allies and members of the Métis Nation. His body was then brought back to his childhood home in St. Vital that we now know as the Riel House. He was then placed in his second coffin that was created for the viewing of his body. It was characterized by a small window above his face, as well as constructed completely out of metal and nailed shut. This was in order to prevent people who disagreed with Riel's cause from stealing his body while still maintaining the tradition of viewing the body and paying their respects. Once everyone had a chance to say their final farewells, Louis Ria's body was then placed in his third coffin. It is in this one he is currently buried in the St. Boniface Cathedral Cemetery. He is buried with his wife and three children. As you can see, the coffin is made entirely out of wood and is badly damaged in the back corner. It used to be stored in the St. Boniface Cathedral basement. There was a fire in 1968 and the coffin was found floating in the water from the fire hoses and saved before it was completely burnt. This is only one of many artifacts we have to commemorate Riel and his role in the creation of our province, as well as his contributions to acknowledging Métis rights in Canada. We have many more objects belonging to Riel, but this is by far one of the most unexpected.